Edmoral Bank is a fictitious global bank, who uses IBM customer information control system to support the processing of their rapid, high-volume, online transactions. They have a large team of software developers, who develop the Demo F3 application. This application uses the Demo GitB service to interact with the Demo Bell vSAM file in certain scenarios. When the demo Bal vSAM file is offline, developers are not able to effectively test and release new versions of the demo F3 application. The development team is also concerned that a vast majority of CICS transactions are initiated from outside of CICS. Hence, there may be many tests that fail when demo Bal is offline. Recently, Headmoral Bank has implemented CA dev test solutions to accelerate their dev test cycles, improve quality, reduce infrastructure cost, and speed time to market. They are excited to learn that one of the prominent feature of CA dev test solution suit is that it can virtualize the CICS programs. They plan to use it to virtualize the demo Balvi SAM file. Let's go ahead and see how they do it. In this demo, we're going to record a CICS program as a virtual service. We're going to record a link to CICS program demo get B. So we'll start the VSC recorder. I will name the recording the virtual service demo get B. It is a CICS link and I'll treat all the transactions as stateless. Click Next. And now I have to select the program that I'm going to record. There are two ways to do that. I could manually add the program with this Add button, or I can browse through the programs defined on the CICS regions that are connected to my, uh, my workstation. You can see down here I have two regions connected with one Alpar connection. The prefix I'll use is demo get. And then I'll just expand the connected regions. I know it's in CICS TS41, so I'll expand those programs. And this shows me all the programs that are defined that start with the uh, demo get. And it's demo get B that I want to record, so I'll just double click on that, and it adds it up here. I could have added some filters to the recording the link transaction ID, the link system ID. These are the two things that are specified on the CICS link command that I could use to filter. I could also filter on the EIB transaction ID, which is the currently running transaction in CICS, or the user ID of the user that's, that's running the transaction. So I've selected demo get B and click next, and recording starts. Now I need to run the transaction. And this transaction can be run in CICS multiple ways, so I'll just run through several. Here's a green screen connected to my CICS region, CICSA. And I clear the screen and run the transaction. Press Enter to read the first account record. And press PF12 to browse through the next account. So I've read two of the account records. And I know that the program I'm recording is, is getting me these account balances. I can also run it through the CICS transaction gateway. In this case, I have a, a small sample application that I run by running this bat file. And it's going to read the first two records, first two account records, just as I saw on the green screen. But it's returning them in a nice XML format. Here I can see record one with the same data and record two with the same data. So now that I've run my CSCS transactions, I see that I have four VSE transactions. VSE considers each one of the CICS links to be a separate transaction. So here's my link to demo get B when I read the first record on the green screen and the second record on the green screen. And then I have two more reading those same two records through the CICS transaction gateway. I can double click on the link here to look at some of the data. 
although I would have to go in and if I wanted to see the um, the com area that's passed in the link, I'd have to go in and change the code page to IBM 037 to translate from EBCDIC to ASCII. But it's here if I want to inspect it. Click Next. And it defaults to using the CICS Copybook Data Protocol. I use the CICS Copybook Data Protocol if I have a copybook for the, the data that's being passed, either the com area or the containers. If I don't have the copybook, I could simply delete these and, and not bother with the copybook data protocol. And my virtual service would still work fine. I just wouldn't be able to use magic strings and the other things that you get by, by parsing out the copybook. In my case, I have a copybook, and it's in this folder. And this is my XML mapping file. And I will use IBM 037 to get the contents of the com area converted from EBCDIC to ASCII. And now I've got my virtual service created. So we'll take a look at the virtual service image and the virtual service model. The virtual service model is generated for me automatically. There's typically no need to make any changes here, although I could if I chose to. And here's the virtual service image. It took the four CICS links that it recorded and compress them down into, into one link, because they're all links to demo get B. And I have three responses here. I have the meta response that will be returned if I don't get a match. I can go in and edit that. Here's the meta response. It shows the data that was returned, all parsed out with the copybook, so I can see the different, different tags in the copybook data tags. Um, maybe I'll change the account balance to all ones. You can also see that it determined that this account number should probably be a magic string. So it, it uses that as a magic string to match my requests. I could make changes to this, add other magic strings if I, if I wanted to. And I've got the response, the, the match response for account number one, which gives me the data that was recorded. And I've got the match response to account number two, which gives me the data that was recorded. And that's good enough for my virtual service. So I will go ahead and save my change and deploy this virtual service to VSE so it's ready for use later. I'm not going to start it yet, but I'll just deploy it to the virtual service environment so it's ready to go. And now I've got my virtual service recorded and ready to go. So in this demo, I'm going to deploy a virtual service to handle a, a CICS data constraint. So when I go into my CICS green screen here, connects to my CICS region, and I run my transaction, press Enter to get the first account, and I can see that I got an error. The error is demo get B, got a CICS error, and I know that this function was reading a vSAM file, and the problem is the file is offline. So my transaction fails because I don't have access to that file. I have the same situation if I try to run it from the CICS transaction gateway. I get the same error. I can see down here in the message, all my data is blank. And I can see out here in the message that, um, I'm sorry, my, my balance and average here, my, the data I got back from demo get B is blank. And I can see the message demo get BCICS error filed is unavailable. So I have a virtual service to virtualize the program demo get B. So I can start that virtual service. And when I start it, it starts in the VSE, uh, the virtual service environment. It starts running the virtual service. VSE is going to provide all of the requests, all of the responses. Uh, it's also deployed out on the CICS region. The CICS agent is now aware that demo get B is to be virtualized. And when I press enter again, 
it now works. And it's giving me the data for the account balance returned by demo get B that was recorded. If I hit PF12, I get the next recorded value. And if I hit PF12 again, I get the meta match response, 1,111 for the account balance. And I will get that meta match response for every other account because it wasn't specifically recorded. But my virtual service is, is eliminating the data dependency and allowing my transaction to run. And the same is true for the, C, the CTG if I run it through there. Now when I run it, it works fine. Here for account number two, I got the recorded account balance. If I stop my virtual service, I get the same error. So I can see that the virtual service eliminated that data dependency by virtualizing program demo get B.